Interestingly, it's linked to something that is really re-emerged in public health in the, in the UK and, and more widely in Europe around assets way of, way of thinking. And what I've heard today, I've heard a lot about places, I've heard a lot about technologies and how we might actually promote better places for people to live. I've heard less about people and people making connections with one, one another and maybe less about the systems that actually allow us to actually create that health. So that's why I've refocused this and actually talked about people, places, and systems. So for those of you who don't know, as I first came across this idea, probably over 10 years ago now, when I was invited to go on to comments to the World Health Organization, and the office that was responsible for the social determinants of health. Um, we promote health for, for all populations, but there are, few, there are more vulnerable populations who are actually not succeeding health-wise uh, as much as they should, and that's for a whole variety of reasons. Um, and I've done some work on another concept called social capital, which is a, an idea that came from America and a number of other sociologists who started talking about how communities were becoming disconnected. Um, an author called Robert Putnam talked about um, the degeneration of societies, and that's people because people weren't actually connecting one another. I haven't heard that much today about people connecting, so I've heard lots about facility, facilitating better um, ideas around promoting physical activity, but are these people just walking between places and actually not talking to one another? This is much about how we connect with our friends, our communities, um, locally and more globally, in order to do well. And the idea of salutogenesis is about how do we create health? 